Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena here. You're watching our video comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and the Nokia Lumia 1520. So we have what's arguably the best phablet in the Windows phone space, and we're pitting it up against the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 4. We're gonna see how they compare and differ from one another, and ultimately, which one proves to be the more versatile phablet in the space. Even though the Note 4 is greeted with a new metal trim bezel, which gives it a subtle premium quality, it's still not as stylish when compared to the Lumia 1520. It's just something about its polycarbonate casing, its tapered edges that gives it an edgier look. But at the same time though, it is the beefier handset to handle. The Note 4 is big, but the Lumia 1520 is bigger, taller, wider, heavier, and we're not really fans of the pointed corners. If you love having a lot of features in your phone, you're gonna like the Note 4 more just because it has a long listing of features that add to its geek cred. So that includes things like the fingerprint sensor used to unlock the device, the heart rate sensor in the back to measure your pulse. You have even an IR blaster, which doubles the, the smartphone as a universal remote. And you even have all the cool advantages of its S Pen stylus. The screens here are ginormous in size, sharp, and highly detailed, so there's a lot of nice things about them, but there's just something more outstanding with the Note 4's display. That's because it packs along a 5.7 inch 1440x2560 Super AMOLED display versus the Lumia 1520 6-inch 1080x1920 IPS LCD panel. It's really tough to see the detail superiority of the Note 4's display from a normal viewing distance, but we do see it when we look very closely, especially in the web browser and a zoomed out view. We just noticed that text, fine text, are a lot sharper and more detailed. Uh, the Note 4 too has a pretty good color reproduction as well. It has wide view angles, and overall it has that showroom wow factor. The one advantage to the Lumia 1520 is that it has a stronger brightness output than the Note 4, so it's highly visible in outdoor situations. Now that Windows Phone 8.1 has made its way to the Lumia 1520, it gives the platform a more complete feel just because you have things like a centralized notification center and even a personal voice assistant service in Cortana. But it still pales in comparison to what the Note 4 has to offer with its TouchWiz experience. It's just far more enhanced and refined versus the Lumia 1520. Especially being a phablet, it makes great use of the added real estate. And you see that in several of the native applications. When you tilt into landscape, you'll see some app, some of the uh, layouts being optimized. On top of that, it's outfitted with a ton of features that make use of the uh, S Pen to really give it a productivity uh, element that people will really appreciate. Even though the Lumia 1520 is a year old and running older hardware, it's still able to exhibit a responsive rate that rivals the Note 4. Now, the 1520 is powered by a quad-core 2.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor with 2 GB of RAM versus the newer 2.7 quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor with 3 GB of RAM in the Note 4. The web browsing experience is fantastic just because we have sizable displays, you have also 4G LTE connectivity, and really smooth kinetic scrolling and pinch zooming, so great navigational control. But there's a desktop-like feel with the Note 4 when you use the S Pen stylus just because it acts as a hover function when you hover it over certain elements. On the audio side, their speakers are pretty powerful and strong, but they have some of their own unsavory qualities. For example, the Note 4 sounds a little bit thin and distorted, while the Lumia 1520 has a little bit of hollowness to it. Naturally, they're perfect for watching videos because they have just such gigantic displays, which is ideal for the situation. But we do appreciate that the Note 4 has a multitasking element with it, which is beneficial when you want to do work at the same time. When it comes to taking photos and videos, they're packing some serious gear with their cameras. Now, the Lumia 1520 continues to amaze people thanks to its 20 megapixel pure view camera, which features an F2.4 aperture lens. You have a backside illuminate sensor, optical image stabilization, dual LED flash, 
and 1080p video recording. Meanwhile, the Note 4 is an equally impressive thing. It's a 16 megapixel autofocus camera with an f2.0 aperture lens. You have optical image stabilization, but it benefits from having 4K video recording. While the two are highly effective for taking photos outdoors where sunlight is plentiful, the detail superiority between these two switches every now and then. In some instances, we find that Note 4 has sharper looking photos, more detail, while the Lumia 1520 on other occasions has the better results. But when it comes to low lighting performance, it's a hands down win for the Note 4. It's just very dark, grainy, and very soft in tone with the Lumia 1520. It's also a win for the Note 4 when it comes to shooting video. Now, when we compare their 1080p samples, we definitely prefer the Note 4. It's just sharper and you have a nice exposure, quick autofocus too, while the Lumia 1520 is a little bit underwhelming with its results. Very soft, not as sharp looking, and on top of that, the Note 4 has the advantage of shooting 4K video. Call quality is just a smidgen better with the Note 4 just because voices on both ends of the line are pretty natural in tone and for the most part they're deep as well. But with the Lumia 1520 our biggest problem here is just that the earpiece is rather weak and voices have a hollow tone through the speakerphone. Gigantic phones deserve equally gigantic batteries. Luckily, that's what we have here with these two handsets. Now, the Lumia 1520 has the slightly larger one, a 3400 milliamp hour one to be exact, versus the 3221 in the Note 4. Now, we don't see a huge difference between their performances, and actually, they're pretty much almost identical to one another. In fact, we're able to get roughly a day and a half of normal usage out of both of them. Ultimately, it boils down to how much you want to pay for your smartphone. If cost is not a problem for you, you're going to want to pick up the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 because by and large, it's the better phone from the spec sheet, performance, and also the features. It's just a far greater experience than the Lumia 1520. But again, if you're looking to save a lot more money, you could pick up the Lumia 1520 for a lot cheaper, in some cases for free even. So if you're on a tight budget, you still can't go wrong with the Lumia 1520. So if you guys want to learn more about either smartphone, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. John V, thanks for watching.